In other news, Israel does not want to lose out on what seems to be a unique chance to sign a peace deal with its Middle East neighbors. This comes after Iran's announcement on Monday of breaching the limits of uranium in a 2015 nuclear deal. A rare public appearance, our Israeli spy master Joseph Cohen has said on Monday that his agency had formed a task force to identify peacemaking opportunities in the U.S. aligned Arab countries. Now, Israel is looking to initiate peace in a region where only two Arab states of Egypt and Jordan share this diplomatic ties with the country. Now, finding it a rare opportunity to arrive at a regional understanding, Cohen has cited Iran's nuclear program as a shared concern. He also asserted that the recent spate of oil tanker attacks have been carried by Iran, a reason why the Middle East should come together and commit itself to the rival the cause. Amosad or Medinat Israel lo khatmo al eskem agarim. Anakhnu anshe atslalim khatamnu rak al eskem echad. Khoze im ezrakhe Medinat Israel. Khoze bo anu mitkhayvim lasot hakol kedai levade she le Iran lo hiye le olam neshek garini. Now, one Indian is among nine injured as Yemen's Houthi rebels attacked a Saudi Arabian airport, making it the, the third such attack in uh, two months. The other eight injured were Saudi nationals. The Houthis have claimed responsibility for the drone attack at the Aba Air International Airport was carried out by the Houthis. The rebel group said that they had launched an operation aimed at warplanes at the airport. A Saudi-led alliance has vowed retaliation for the attack on civilian assets. The UAE, which is part of the alliance, condemned the incident, saying that it was not just an attack on Riyadh, but on Abu Dhabi as well. Meanwhile, the Aba airport said that the air traffic was not affected due to the incident. The Aba airport was earlier attacked with missiles and drones on July 12th and 23rd. An airstrike on a migrant detention center in Libya has killed 40 people and left 80 others wounded. A strike happened late into the night yesterday at a migrant detention center in the Libyan capital of Tripoli. This is the f latest instance of violence in the ongoing conflict between the provisional government and the forces led by General Khalifa Haftar. Now, the casualties of the detention center are mostly African migrants who were picked up by the Libyan Coast Guard. Many African migrants use Libya as a point of departure to Europe, countries like Italy. Now, there have also been multiple reports from the UN slamming the human rights violation in these detention centers.